What's up, Team 407? This is Joe from i407 Studios, and if you didn't know that, then why are you clicking on the video? Well, I appreciate it anyway. You get the... Anyway. Marnie. We got the Marnie box. Okay, so we got eight more chances of getting Champion's Path. I'm totally psyched. It is beyond exhausting trying to pull that Charizard card. So I want to try and do it in today's video. If we don't get it, then we're going to just start moving on to Vivid Voltage. And you know what? I'm, I couldn't be happier. I, I couldn't be happier. Champion's Path has been a fun set. It's given so much life and popularity to Pokemon that... I have probably spent the most money on any set next to Hidden Fates in this bad boy in, I want to say, about two years. So it was a fun set. It was a fun set. I got nothing really to complain about. I do have a bunch of packs we are going to get to try and pull at least one Charizard. If you pull one Charizard, I'll be ecstatic. But guys, I wanted to let you know, we have the winners for the double V promo cards. They're going to be listed right here and right here and right here. So if your name popped up on any of those, Guys, let us know in the comments uh, if that was you, and obviously you're going to have to DM us your uh, address, and we're going to send you the double promo card and the jumbo one. So, let's get to it, guys. We got a bunch of packs open today, plus some evolutions if you're sticking around. Guys, we are back into Champion's Path again this week, and um, I'm excited. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I was going to have an entire script to just go along and be like, oh, well, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to all this stuff, but I just don't even want to be bothered with that right now. I'm going to just rip this open, get into Champion's Path, start it, and let's see if we get that card. I am stoked. All right, so we're probably going to end up just giving this stuff away. Uh, the, ooh, the promo cards and, oh, everything just fell out. Okay, so we have a Morpeko, angry Morpeko pin. That's actually pretty cool. I can't complain. And then we got Grimmsnarl. Uh, Grimmsnarl, I, I think that's regular. I don't think that's the VMAX. Uh, probably not, but eh, teach his own. So we're probably going to end up giving these away uh, for a giveaway Tuesday next week, uh, which will officially be back next week. We're going to do it consistently. So we do apologize. We just had a massive delay the last couple months with all of our inventory, and we didn't want to promise something we couldn't ship out. So we got those two for you. And also, we're what do we got next? This is going to be interesting. Okay, we got a... Pokemon. Oh, if I can try and show this to you guys. I'm going to have to back this camera up right here. There we go. We have a... Oh, just as Champion's Path. That was, you know... Uh, wow. Marnie, uh, you Hot Topic looking chick. Uh, let's see. Grimstone. That's it. There, there's really nothing to it. It's just a placemat. About a $20 placemat you could probably buy. I might swap this one out because we do have extra. But we're, we're going to give it to you guys. Don't even worry about it. All right. So let's get into these Champion's Path packs. Where is the code card? I could have sworn that... Oh, here it is. All right, so there we go. Why do they put tape on this? Look at this. There's literally a piece of tape hanging off this Pokemon bag. All right, so there goes PSA. So there goes, yeah, yeah, oh, anyway. Okay, so let's actually take a look at the two promo cards. So like I said, we have a bunch of them. We're probably gonna get them away. Uh, actually, you know what, it's my decision. Uh, it, what we're giving away, but then I have to run it through the management team, and then odds are they always say yes, because why else would they have hired me? All right. Here we go. More Peko, Grimmsnarl. Sweet. Okay, so let's take a look at the more Peko one first. So we got Spark, Electro Wheel with the attacks. Our, uh, Sun in Shield 056. Uh, these are, honestly, they're probably not even going for much, I wouldn't even think. So being that they're just basic promo cards. Uh, we got Grimmsnarl V. Uh, as far as regular V cards go, they, like I said, I'm not, like, blown away. They're not VMAX, they're not Ultra, they're not, like, you know, Hyper Rares. They're just regular promo cards. Uh, yeah, enough to say about that. But let's get to the real uh, order of business, guys. Champion's Path. We got eight more packs. I think we gotta get a Charizard. I'm gonna put the call in. We got the Charizard card today. If not, we gotta move on to some good bit voltage. And trust me, we got a booster box of the Japanese set, which I want to get through first which is going to be fun. And I do got a bonus surprise for you guys, being that Halloween was over the weekend. We do have a Halloween kit to go through, as you can see right there. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and crack this open. So what are the chances? What cards are we missing? So actually, where's my little uh, TV monitor? Pull that up, the cards that we're missing from Champion's Path for the Master Set. There we go. Sonya, Kabu, Kakuna, Pokeball, Atena, Full Heal, Machop, Purloin, and... Another glaring obstacle. I feel bad for whoever has to do the scroll at the bottom of these. Literally. And you know what the funny thing is? That a lot of people have been asking us, where do we get the uh, uh, prices from? TCG Player. We will not get any other quote other than TCG Player unless it is out of stock on their website. So all of them uh, that come across the bottom that you guys see are all TCG Player prices. 
for that current day. They can change literally as we're recording. We've had a couple of cards that as we were recording the videos, I changed in value within minutes. So, Eldegoss V, not bad for his uh, actual pull of the day. Well, actually, you know what? Let me let me count the. Let, let's go. This this might be our last champions path for a while. Let's go ahead and uh, let's make the count. Okay, code card. Upside down for you guys. We actually got a comment earlier <laughs> about the uh, intro music. Uh, so I will actually acknowledge that comment. And I just want to actually point out and say before I get to that, is that if you, we try to build it, at i47 Studios, we want to build a happy and fun Pokemon community for all ages. Uh, we have, we have all of our other uh, content, which is also geared towards adults. It's, it's for everyone, kids and adults. You know, we want to go ahead and provide the best community as well for you. So if you are, by any means, um, trying to leave a really, really nasty comment for whatever reason, just because you're salty or you have nothing better to do with your time, you know, or you're just looking for someone to take your anger out on, honestly, just do it somewhere else because all of our comments are held for review. And if it's just rude to all the other, you know, subscribers and all the other fans of the channel, then go somewhere else. All right. So we got energy and Hatena. I think I got the psychic energy already, but I'm not really sure. So yeah, like I was saying, so basically, don't don't be a dick. Uh, you know, I don't even know how much more to I can say that. There, listen, the internet's always going to be filled with that kind of stuff, and especially on our video that was doing really well, which will pop up uh, right here. Our uh, where is uh, Champions Path series? If you, we had a bunch of comments, actually, it was like three or four comments that were just rude as all can be. You know, just straight up rude as hell, and. I didn't necessarily care. Like, to me, the comments don't matter. Like, I mean, if people want to vent, they want to vent. Like, whatever, feel your grievance. This is where you go to. But we want to create a place where people can escape. And we wanted to do it in a positive light. So if you leave any type of negative comment whatsoever, to the extent of, like, using profanity and everything, um, sometimes even I do, but it's not in the sense that I'm ever going to hurt somebody's feelings. So if you're just here to just attack somebody, then, you know what, the comment will not be there. So, again, we have kids that watch the channel, and I get that the world is a harsh place, and I say that with, like, you know, me being one of the most, I guess, a influencer, I don't really consider that to be myself nowadays, but being what I do for a living, I guess, you know, I want to just help and inspire other people to follow their dreams as well. You know, unfortunately, life is too short, and if there is something bothering you, you can always mention such, like, in the comments, be like, Hey man, like uh, I've reached out to plenty of YouTubers that are like, I'm having a rough day. Thanks for your content. I appreciate it. You know, and they were very blessed about that. So it's just, you know, we would appreciate the same thing, but like, just don't be a dick guys. So it's just, unfortunately the world we live in. We haven't even gotten like anything good. And this is the last pack of this entire Marnie box. Damn. So there goes that. But anyway, uh, going back on what I was originally talking about with the as I just flew every single card out of there. And what was the hollow in that? Where is the... So we end the Marnie box with her, Marnie herself. Yeah. Damn, what a disappointing box. That was $50. I mean, you're really getting, honestly, you get the packs, but you also get the, uh... where's Marnie? I'm just gonna throw her in there. Uh, you get the, what did we do? Um, what the hell did we just open? Pins and two cards and a placemat. You know, actually, you know what's funny? The placements, we actually use uh, two of them for the din uh, dining table. Oh, so the, oh, hold on. This was actually the last card I was missing out of the uh, reverse hollow waters. Waters. Energy. I'm stumbling here. Okay. Got that. That's good. Marnie, you're in there. Damn. I can't believe how bad that pack was. So, what's the, do you think, guys, worth the thing it was worth $50? Did you spend $50 on that? Who knows? I don't even know if you guys got to see that code card for that. But, okay, let me get back back to the original thing I was saying. Whoever commented on our music, our opening intro music, um, it was actually hysterically funny that you had mentioned that because I've been trying to change the music for quite some time. Um, unfortunately, it is, it is what they picked, uh, so we have to find something because it's more like a, the theme is a breaking news Pokemon channel. Like, we're showcasing all the cards. We're showcasing everything that's brand new. You know, so that's where the theme mu music came from. Uh, as far as licensing goes, I would like to try and get some type of Pokemon theme. But again, that's not going to happen overnight. Oh, we got a Leaf Energy. And a Wailord V. Okay, so it took until the single packs for us to finally get something, uh, you know, going. So, yeah, I appreciate your uh, opinion on it. That if you find it annoying or people don't like it, you know. Or if that's the reason people don't want to watch is they hear that. Then definitely, uh, guys, let me know. Because we will definitely uh, change it faster than, you know, time schedule. But... 
Unfortunately, the music has to do with copyright a lot and YouTube, especially with their monetizations and their guidelines and policies, we're just, you know, trying to follow everything we can. So we got Kakuna, Roly Coley, but we will work on it, I promise. All right, Carvana and a Scrafty. Champions Path, you are so disappointing. Oh, you know, I, I thought we had a good relationship. I know those Charizard boxes are in front of me, but if you guys want to know what they're actually for, because I'm not opening them, they're for when we hit a thousand subscribers, we're going to be giving some away. So there we go. Hatterene, whether it's one, two, three, I don't know. It all depends on what the boss is upstairs say. Okay, we got Weedle, Scraggy, and a Machamp. Oh my God. Oh my God, how many of these are we gonna go through? Come on, Charizard. If we don't pull a Charizard today, I'm, I'm probably gonna crack one of these boxes open again and just tell them to cut their loss, seriously. Yeah, that fell. All right, cool. All right, so card trick, you guys know the drill. All right, and you know what's funny is that all these are white packs. So if you don't know what that means, it means that you're guaranteed a hollow in each of the cards. Uh, what other set was like this in Shiny Legends? All right, we got Machop, we got Ekans. Okay, Dark Energy and Lycanroc again. Well, at least we're master setting the energies. That was actually a concern of mine that I would have had to find them separate. But no, we actually are doing pretty well. I think we actually have one of each now. Or, or maybe not. I think we're actually, we actually might be missing Metal. Uh, somebody let me know in the comments if that's actually a card in there. Because unfortunately, um, as far as the... Uh, I use an app to actually... Uh, you know, checklist all my Pokemon cards. Unfortunately, those reverse energies for some reason on are not on the app. Um, all right, Volpix, Trumpeta, and Professor's Research. Oh, what a drag. Oof. How many packs until we pull something good? Seriously. I mean, I, I get that it's very hard to pull a Charizard card. You know, I've pulled the only two Charizard cards I've actually, uh, three. I pulled myself where the Evolutions ones. Uh, the Burning Shadows, uh, Hyper Rare, and the one that I pulled off the channel, which was the um, Gigantamax, VMAX, which is, again, what we're trying to pull right now. Another Lycanroc. Oh, my God. This is so upsetting. You know what the funny thing is? Is that you can go and buy $50 boxes. You, say you buy uh, 10 boxes at $50 a piece. You think you would have a good chance of pulling any of the Charizards because the Hyper Rare and the Rainbow Rare are going for $50 each. I'm, I wish. I'm sorry. They are going for $100 to $500 in auction, starting at $100, then going all the way to $500. Let me clarify that. And TCGplayer.com themselves had, hey, the Learn Omdi, not bad, has uh, them going for, I think, $4.95 a piece, yeah, which is pretty good. But seeing as how many, if somebody was ever keeping track of how many Pokemon cards packs we were opening for Champions Path, then uh, props to you. I was actually worried we were never going to get these to begin with. Our original order, and I will say this hysterically, is still pending. Like, the first ever order we placed for Champions Path is still not here. And we don't know if that's ever going to show up. Which, and that's the case, they just will credit us back. Oh, Champions Path, what are you doing to me? Breaking my heart. Breaking my heart. Little old me. Little old Joe. Just trying to make a living playing Pokemon. You know how it goes. 90s kids want to grow up and be what they can be. Actually, when I wanted to, at a very early age, what I wanted to be when I grew up was an astronaut. Never really told anybody that, except for my mom, because she ended up getting me like solar stuff, which is really cool. So that's where the old uh, logo actually came from, the inspiration, where you see it's in the world. It's all about, you know, the space theme. So that was uh, the, one of the coolest designs, um, I think, ever, for the because uh, we had some bad ones. We had some bad runner-ups. They're like WWE uh, names that they give you. There's always a list of the terrible ones that you don't want to, uh, you don't want to open. Goddamn, Priest. Really? Oh, at least we got a Marnie Reverse, right? That's actually not as bad. Oh, man. Guys, if you're sticking through with those, I appreciate it because these Champions Hat Packs, man, they are not cheap. You're, I tell you what, and you are basically going to try and master set, um... How much would this cost on average, I think? With the two Charizard cards, obviously it would be about a thousand bucks. Uh, so I would place the entire thing at probably 1300 is what I think an entire Master Set would be worth. Two Charizard cards, I can't see because these are so um, common, you know, as far as the holographics goes. So there are a few that aren't, like would be the, you know, these are like 10 cents. So I, I would say, honestly, it's about 1300 um, for... It's gotta be. 
it's got to be about that because there's no auction going on right now for an entire master set which if you guys want i will show you in a second the cards that we are currently missing which i would like to know myself actually so roly coley sizzlepeed so again for my personal collection is the cards that i'm missing pokeball lycanroc scrafty all right so let's take a quick break and uh let me show you guys how our master set is going so yeah this big binder right here might as well just show you guys in here if i could there we go okay so you see everything that we have going we are missing only a few cards i consider all of the uh reverse rares part of the master set also we got the alchemy v max that we pulled actually we were missing one of those reverse rares so just to show you guys i know this is actually not the most ideal way of doing because this binder is massive let me try and actually there we go make this a little bit easier for you to see so yeah there are a few that we actually haven't pulled yet it, it's just the reverse rares because all the commons we clearly got let's see here we got that okay so we get into the hyper rares and which ones do we have the yeah graflock gardevoir dreadnought porcela and we have the secret rare and again this page needs to be filled this is the one we're working on right here all right so we have each of the energies and then we have which is weird there's a hollow fairy energy but there's no fairy energies in here at all uh and these are just a bunch of extras that we will give to everyone at some point uh or we will sell a master set kit that will basically be a starter kit it will include one of every common card uh one of the holographics because we have extra and probably sell it for like 10 bucks so that way you guys can just you don't have to if you want to get certain cards from it you know you don't want to you can't find the packs you can't you don't want to go away and spend 500 dollars on 10 boxes that you know you might have the same stuff day in and day out so think about doing that for you guys so it'd be a cool concept okay oh, man this is uh nerve-wracking we have not even we've not pulled a wow we haven't pulled a v-max or a uh hyper rare at all Unbelievable. Vulpix, we got Trubbish, Roly Coley, Zigzagoon, Professor's Reap, and Venusaur B. I actually like this card a lot. I played with Venusaur in the TCG online. Uh, the Venusaur and Celebi is my main, like, threatening card, if you will. So, it is, uh, it's one of my favorites. So, all right. Out of this pile. Oh, my God. I can't believe, I can't believe this. And you know what the funny thing is? I'm not even upset. I'm not, I, like, this is what I predicted when... Champion's Path was first announced. I was like, okay. Odds are there's going to be a bunch of, uh, you know... Yeah, it's, it's, there's going to be a bunch of chances to probably pull two Charizard cards, and we can't even pull one. Because Hidden Fates, I didn't even get one. I had to buy mine. Literally. And I'm glad I did, because the prices for that shiny Charizard are absolutely uh, astronomical compared to what they were at launch. So, they were only, like, anywhere from 90 to 100, and then they went up to about 210. Now they're at 5 and 6. So, good thing I jumped on that, because I knew myself I was not going to pull it. Obstacle. God damn. All right, so this was the last pack out of that stack of singles that we had. That was a horrible, horrible, horrible stack. Can't win them all, guys. You can't win them all. Well, let's, you know what? But I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Swablu, Inke, Atena, Kakuna, Machamp. That's humble. Give me this chart. Give me this box. I don't care. Give me this box right here. Somebody made a comment earlier that it was probably in this one, ironically. And I gotta, uh, I gotta take the chance to find out. Gotta take the chance. And whoever, I forget who actually mentioned that, that it was probably right there in front of me the entire time. If this Charizard guard has been right in front of me the entire time, I'm gonna scream. Okay, where is that? Okay, so let me take a look at the actual Charizard card first. Oh, so stunning. How's the centering on this one? No, not much better than all the other ones. All right. There we go. Eight more packs. And then we're going to get into the Halloween kit. Damn. All right, little box. You are going to go right there. And I'm going to bring this little box down. So you can match with the other little box. And the cards all fell over. So there we go. Okay. Who is mowing the lawn outside? Seriously, it's like... It's like 40 degrees. God bless you. Okay, so anyway, we got the pulls. Oh. I, I swear, I should do an entire video of just being so, like a silent era opening. You know, like a Charlie Chaplin kind of thing. And literally just decide to, uh, you know, 
say not one thing for the entire video and see what happens. So that would be fun. You know, I can't scream, I can't lose my, uh, you know, can't say a word, it'd be a dumb, let's be honest, it's probably a dumb decision. Okay, last seven packs. I can't believe this. This is, this is gonna be more massive champions path extras than I've ever seen in a stack of Pokemon, except for my Hidden Fates binder, which is literally a six inch binder stacked with singles that are extras. Kakuna, Purloin, Full Heal, Lanoon, Vulpix, Roly Coley, you. Okay. I don't even really want to comment on any of these cards. I just want to open them and be like, all right, let's seriously, let's just go through them. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, Hatena. Oh, at least we got the B. I don't know if we have the B drill or not. So, you know, and it's good. It, it's good to open one of these Elite Trainer boxes because honestly, when you get the Charizard card, you kind of feel like you're gonna get something good. I've seen more people actually get the uh, Charizard card from it. So, and Guard of War V, not bad. Pull that right out. Put it in there. Did I literally just put the Lanoon? Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Put the Lanoon in that bag. Oh, knocking the camera over. There we go. Who is mowing the lawn outside? What in the God, I, I give you a lot. It is November already. It is freezing. I literally went outside yesterday, like, oh, whatever. We just saw we had a bunch of these, and okay, at least we got one full art card. Worth a couple dollars. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Look at the stack of pulls that we got so far, guys. This is insane. And no, look at how, okay, on average, we pulled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. We're almost at an entire booster box. Almost at an entire booster box of Champions Pass. That is insane. Okay. Marnie. Yeah, it's... What, uh, what, uh, what more do you want? I mean... <sighs> gonna have to take the L on this. Gonna have to take the L on this. Oh, but at least Mandalorians, though. You know, that's 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 exciting. All right, what do we got? Okay, I got the reverse rare, another one, and a reverse hollow. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is just, I'm so sick of this. Like, mentally, like, I'm not, like, like crying over this, but it's just, like, I, I, I can't believe how unlucky people are when it comes to these pulls. It's, they're all just going to one pile at this point. This, this is just getting absurd. But, you know what? I enjoy it, though. I'm not complaining. Charizard. Hey, Incineroar V. Okay, so this is the one card I was actually missing from the entire V line. So that is perfect. Awesome. So if you guys, when we first looked at the binder, this is actually, this is, wow, it took us how many packs to pull that? If it took us that many cards to pull that particular Incineroar V, then what in the world would it have taken to pull a Charizard card. And this is the last pack out of this, too. Exactly. You know what? Let's do it again. Guys, I am... I, I'm, I'm, I want this card. I'm gonna go insane if I don't get it. Because I'm gonna sit here and wonder, what is in this? How many of these are in here? Another Marnie box. Oh my god, you know what? Bear with me one second. I'm just gonna pull these packs out. You guys have already seen the cards. That can go there. That's probably gonna knock over a bunch of stuff. Here's the code card for you, if you didn't see it. Eight more packs. Charizard, are you in here? I'm asking, are you in here? I wonder literally how much I would have uh, sold. This. Unbelievable. I wonder how much I would have sold this entire lot for if I didn't open any of these, because I had every single card that was in here. All right, last ones, I promise, because this is just insane. Okay, Charizard, send a Scorch. Charizard, Charizard, where are you? Where are you, Charizard? And Marnie again. Oh boy. Champion's path, champion's path. Why, oh why do you suck so much? And it's just a glaring obstacle. Here comes the champion's path. Charizard, Professor's Research. Oh, you know what, guys? I'm so sorry if I was not showing those coats. Hold on, here's one. Where are we go? Where are we going? I was just worried about cracking them open. Here's one. And here's another one. Oh, my God. That damn tape. That damn tape. 
Well, we'll crack into some evolutions packs and also the Halloween kit that we got. So this is insane. Basically an entire booster, what am I doing? An entire booster box down. We got Professor's Research again. This is just nuts. I can't believe this. Hey, if I don't pull it, I'm like contradicting myself. I'm like, I'm sad that I haven't pulled it, but like, I'm okay if I don't because that's my expectation. They are low at the moment. And we got a Whale Lord V. Code card, where is that? How many Mario boxes have I gone through so far? I, I opened up a few for myself, but just, just to get used the code card. And a Glaring Corsola. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, where, where, are, where are these pulls? I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. We have been pulling ridiculous amounts of stuff all day. And I don't know if you guys saw that card, but I'm having fun. Oh, the Victini Reverse Rare. That was good. I didn't even notice that. That was one of the ones I was missing. So we are getting, like I said, the Master Set itself is damn near complete. But last pack. Charizard, are you in here? Where's the hollow? Oh, Lycanroc. All right. I, I was getting worried for a second. All right. So that's that. That's that. That's enough Champions Path for today. Basically an entire booster box down. Upsetting, I know. But, all right. That concludes our journey with Champions Path. Unless we have two more boxes to go through, which would be a Hatena and a Stow inside. So we might have more chances. But in the meantime, it was Halloween this past weekend. Let's take a look. Gonna make a mess over here. Yeah. All right. What do we got? Halloween kit from Walmart. There we go. Let's see. We got two packs. Ultra Pism and Cosmic Eclipse. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's Halloween, and if we we got a beautiful Pikachu. Where is my Megazord literal opener? There we are. You bad boy right here. Yeah. Rip that box open. Okay. Oh, this is. Did I do that? Because. Oh, all right then. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's Pikachu. We did. We got a. We got a Pikachu. Wow. And he's a witch. I don't know if you guys can see him. Yeah, he's got a little hat on right there. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, all right. You know what? You're basically for twenty bucks. You're basically you're getting that. I know the Pikachu wasn't guaranteed or anything, but in the box we got the Ultra Prism. We have a Cosmic Eclipse <laughs> Blister itself, and a coin. This is not worth twenty dollars. Who am I kidding? And Team Plasma, not bad. All right, Pikachu, you're gonna have to stay over there. And Cosmic Eclipse. So let's end the day on these. Hey, what do you want to open first? Okay, let's go Cosmic Eclipse. Okay, here we go. And uh, Armaldo, yay! Twenty dollars down the drain. Whatever. Okay, Ultra Prism, like I said, you can't win them all. There we go. What do we got in this one, guys? Let's go ahead and a Roserade non-holographic. Okay, so that is going to probably be about... No, it's not worth it. I, I can't even justify that. Let's open up two Evolutions packs to see if we can pull something good. And Evolutions, again, one of my favorite sets. Here we go. Bullpix, Energy, Magikarp, Weedle, Electabuzz... Holly Whirl and a hey, Gyarados, beautiful Gyarados card, awesome, awesome, awesome. This is uh, one of the reprints from base set itself, which is just stunning. I love it. I love it. That oh, and a secret rare. There we go. We got the Surfing Pikachu secret rare. Not nah, not worth much, but it's just fun to always pull. So it's always exciting to go through base set and any type of the reprints. So we have that, and we get into one more as we are almost at our time limit. So, guys, Evolutions, we got Diglett, Ratatat, Charmander, Energy, Yellow Cheeks Pikachu, I wish, first edition, Drowsy Reverse Rare, and a Starmie, Haunter, Blastoise, Misty Determination. Let me grab one more for you guys. Evolutions, let's see. Got code right there. All right, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Onyx, Magikarp. Fighting Energy, Fairy Reverse Energy, and an Arcanine non-holographic. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. You have been absolutely wonderful, and I can't tell you how much I enjoy every minute that I spent with you guys. This has been a blast opening up Champion's Path, and uh, wow, man. 
We're gonna have to just, we're gonna have to buy that Charizard card. We're just gonna have to do it at this point. Even though we have the other packs and uh, stuff in front of us. But you know what? Maybe if we save a box for 20 years and come back to it, it might be worth it. We don't know. But guys, wow, what a complete mess. We have absolutely destroyed the studio and I couldn't be happier. So guys, thank you for tuning in and man, Pikachu, say hi to everyone. There you go. All right, guys, if you want to see me spend hundreds of dollars on Champion's Path and absolutely pull no Charizard cards, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and share. I'm just kidding. We're going to end up pulling something great. We got Vivid Voltage coming. We got uh, more Elite Trainer boxes. We got Booster boxes. We have two more Champion's Path products coming, I think. And then we got the whole second wave of Champion's Path that's going to come this holiday season. So we got plenty more chances to get that Charizard. At least one of them. That's what I want for Christmas. Just one. Just one. We got that. I been... <clears throat> can't even talk. Let me get this water real quick. Yeah, my little uh, Mandalore... It's not Mandalorian, it's Darth Vader, what am I doing? Guys, we've been having fun. I've been Joe Major from i47 Studios. We love you and we'll see you next time.